Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos, I'm here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the most recent patch that came to Black Desert on June 19th of 2024, going over all the events, as well as major changes, that way you don't miss a thing. This week's patch brings a bunch of stuff, including reworks to the entirety of the damage system in Black Desert. So yeah, quickly before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, new to Black Desert, or you've been watching videos on the channel and still have not subscribed yet, please consider it. Helps to become a channel, you stay up to date with new content, and we both win, and without further ado, Let's get into it and start off with the events like we do every single week, and the first event is pretty pretty tame, it's just adjustments to the login rewards. If you go to the reward tab, login reward, you will see there are new loyalty rewards available for you when you log into the game, so pretty straightforward on that. The second event is a huge, huge, huge EXP boost event running through July 10th. So you get a couple weeks to take advantage of this in honor of the Heidel Ball, which for those of you that don't know, the Heidel Ball is coming this weekend. Uh, this Saturday, you'll be able to see the roadmap for the future for the rest of the year for Black Desert. So all the new classes, uh, any new events, any new items, any new anything new coming to the game, we're going to get the previews of it uh, here this weekend. So I'll have a full summary video of that. But in honor of it, we have a 1,000% combat EXP, 400% skill EXP, 100% life EXP, and 100% drop rate. So these are the biggest possible buffs that they've ever given out for this, and it happens really only around these ball periods. So if you're trying to power level the character, power level your life skilling, any of those different things, now is a great time. And also tagged in with this EXP event, we also have some items in your challenges menu. So if you press the Y key on the keyboard, you're going to see a chair as well as a little head balloon, which are supposed to be used at the Heidel Ball live viewing party in game. So for this, head over to Heidel Castle on the day of the Heidel Ball, which again, the times are right here on your screen. So, uh, you know, depending on your time zone, location, region, wherever you're at, uh, head over to Heidel Castle, sit on the chair, put on the hat, and uh, sit back, relax, and watch and enjoy the Heidel Ball. Keeping in the Heidel Ball themed events, we have this fun one here, where if you go to the forum topic for this, go ahead and post a response to it, identifying the various buildings in here and which ones belong to Heidel and which don't, uh, you'll be entered to win a Transform Crystal, and anybody who leaves a comment below is going to receive it. So if you want a Transform Crystal, now's the time to pick it up. And then we have one more event in honor of the Heidel Ball for the next week through June 26th. While you're out grinding, you're going to see the NPC Hoarder Afaru. If you go ahead and kill Hoarder Afaru, you're going to get this Goblin Secret Elixir, which provides you bonus stats to your character, and also some free money. So random chance at the money, guaranteed for the bonus stats, it's going to run for 30 minutes. So whenever you see this guy pop up, get that little notification, go ahead and knock him out to pick up the items. And that's going to do it for all of the events, so we can now move on into the patch notes themselves, and these patch notes are absolutely insane with the amount of information they have for all this changes to the damage system in-game. So there are pages of this, you could probably sit here reading this for hours if you really wanted to. I'm going to try and give you an overview of it in a generalistic stance. Um, obviously if you want to see exactly which stats or what lines were tweaked on your character, I'd strongly recommend reading through the patch notes section for your class, just to fully understand your changes. But generally, for every single class in Black Desert, several things have been adjusted. First, the number of hits that every skill has. Second, how accuracy and evasion interact with each other. Third, how super armor protects you. And fourth, how damage resist protects you. Generalistically speaking, if I look at the Musa skills, because that's what I play here, uh, Kiki on the keyboard, look at all of your skills here, go over any one of them, you will see those changes that I just mentioned. So your accuracy rate bonus has been changed there. You also notice that your skill does more damage per hit, but less hits overall. So for example, the number of hits for Rising Storm has been halved, but the damage has been doubled, roughly-ish. So those are your general changes like on the stat line there. To go with this increase in damage and reduction in hits, we then have changes to how Super Armor, Evasion, and Damage Resist all interact with each other. So, first things first, your damage resist stat, calculated from your DP, has brackets that have been added in. So, similar to how there's AP brackets for your character, you now have DR brackets. This table on the screen right here shows you how your DP bonus changes as you increase your overall DP. And yeah, just basically like brackets that you'll hit to improve your damage reduction. Accuracy and evasion have been adjusted for every single class at the base level, so you'll have more accuracy at base level while you are uh, playing your characters. Accuracy for skills have been adjusted on all the different classes, so that's what this table is right here. Evasion boosting and DP boosting skills have been adjusted for pretty much every single class, as have skills that change the evasion rate for other classes while you're fighting them in PvP. Super Armor has been adjusted such that you take a guaranteed 10% less damage by default while you're in Super Armor, and then other classes have different scaling adjustments to that um, in line with the class itself. So for example, Strike and Mystic get 25% reduction, Musa on the Awakening side gets 15%. Uh, depending on the class, you, you get different reductions while you're in Super Armor. And then the last generalization is up here in this like paragraph of text where no matter what your evasion stat is, even if you evade the skill, you're still going to take 10% damage. So there's explanations for why they made all these changes in this little paragraph right here if you're curious to see the adjustments and why they were done. 
So again, just to cover everything real quickly, because I know I said a lot right there, the number of hits for every single skill, as well as the damage for those, have been adjusted pretty much across the board for all the different classes. The scaling of evasion, as well as your damage boosting or damage resist boosting stats, have also been adjusted for pretty much every single class throughout all the different skills. Evasion no longer provides you 100% evasion when you dodge a skill, you have to still take 10% of the damage. Super Armor provides you a flat 10% reduction in damage that you'll take, and for some classes you get more than that. And there are now DP brackets that you can hit that give you additional damage reduction across the board. I think that covers the majority of the changes in a generalistic stance. Again, every single class has all of those changes and exactly what's tweaked in them throughout this patch note. So if you really want to see your class, I'd suggest scrolling through it to see what's adjusted for your, your specific class that you play. So now with adjustments to all the different classes and how they scale, they've also adjusted a bunch of the items that provide you bonus like life regeneration per hit or things like that. So for example, like Elixir of Draining used to provide you three HP per critical hit because you could hit multiple times now that you can't hit as many times, uh, bonus HP or, or a buff to that. So essentially these items that gave you recovery from certain hits, a certain number of hits have been adjusted such that they will give you a similar amount of recovery um, with the reduction in the number of hits. And then similarly with the adjustment to how accuracy and evasion and all of those different stats interact with each other, a bunch of accessories have also had bonuses to their accuracy added or improved, and defense gears had some changes to their stat lines as well. So with all of that out of the way, we can get into some other changes in the patch notes. And uh, first things first, Dark Rift event happening next week. So if you have Dark Rift bosses down here, um, and this little icon right here, the Dark Rift, uh, don't don't kill him because there's an event coming next week. The exchange for Don's gloves and Ator's shoes that allows you to swap between the two types now uses crystallized despairs, so you can use those instead of the scorched fragments for the exchange. Embers of despair and embers of frost can now be registered on the central marketplace, so this is in line with the ability to register the embers of resonance. You can now register all of the different flame items essentially. We have some tweaks to the Cyclops grinding zone for Dekia's lantern. So if you grind in that zone, a couple little tweaks there to uh, the stat lines that you need to trigger certain things as well as the spawn locations for some of the enemies. A big one that came with this with the changes to all the character stats, we now have changes to the AP for a bunch of different monsters as well to kind of balance those zones a little bit better. And then similarly for Node and Conquest Wars, the stat lines required for entry have been adjusted as well with the adjustment to all the character stat lines. And then beyond that guys, not a ton more with this patch. So again, pretty big patch, a lot of changes to your combat system, and again we also have the Heidel Ball coming out this weekend, so you're going to have even more information here in Black Desert. So. A lot of changes, a lot of cool stuff to come, I certainly hope. Um, now it's your turn, let me know what you think down below. What do you feel and what are your thoughts about the new combat changes with all the stat lines? What are you looking for most into the Hoddle Ball coming out this weekend? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you at the next YouTube video, the next Twitch live stream, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.